What's up everybody, Chad here for yet another video and today we're actually gonna be going between Subarus. So long ago, I actually had a Subaru that I had talked about once upon a time. No longer is that the case, we're talking about Outbacks today. So today on my right, your left, we're looking at the Outback Wilderness and then we have on my left, your right, a Outback, of course, very similar to this touring trim. So basically when it comes to these two vehicles, it comes to what your needs are gonna be. This happens to be non-turbo, it's Subaru's run-of-the-mill 2.5 liter boxer that has 182 horsepower and 176 pound-feet of torque. And then over here is Subaru's newer mill, which is the 2.4 liter boxer, turbocharged. It has 260 horsepower and uh, 277 pound-feet of torque. And I was a passenger in this today, and I can tell you it is probably the fastest Subaru of recent time that I have actually sat in pretty darn fast. Now, part of that is obviously the engine, but then transmission as well. Transmission has been changed up a little bit and the final gearing is a little bit more low to help you tackle some of the uh, steeper grades that you might encounter off-road, but it actually has real world effects too when you're going down the road. So obviously exterior wise, a lot of differences between the two. If we go back up here to the front, both have the steering responsive headlights, but when you look down at the fog lights, they are both LEDs, but there is a difference between the two, not only in placement, but this one is more of a up and down thin kind of uh, fog light. And then over here is much more circular pattern with a bunch of little pods within it. And it is very, very bright. So coming back here, you might not be able to see it super well on camera, but there is a slight lift over here on the Wilderness Edition. So what you do have with that is going to be just under an inch in the front and the rear of a lift. Plus you get smaller wheels as well and more of a like AT type tire versus a more highway terrain tire that's gonna be here over here on the Touring Edition. Now, coming back a little bit further, you're gonna see very subtle differences between the mirror caps, door handles and everything like that. And then when you're looking here at the roof rack, that's a big difference too. These aren't the standard ones that you're gonna see on every other Outback. These can actually sustain the weight of a rooftop tent. So a lot of people will do different upgrades to these to put rooftop tents, but these do come with the crossbars on them. The Wilderness does not come with crossbars, but they do have slots for you to connect them in on towards the front and the rear. So some other similarities between the two, you're gonna have a sunroof on each of them that do go back. And then of course you got power lift gates in the rear. So coming to the interior now, we are in the Wilderness Edition. Of course, as you can see through here, we do have the bronzish gold accents. And of course, one of the big things about this that you're gonna see a difference wise is the interior. So this is Subaru StarTex material. It is a very plush, nice, comfy material, but the big difference that you're going to see between the two is this is going to clean off a lot easier. So if you do get dirt when you're in and around the trails and outside, it is going to wipe off very easily. Now, something else you're going to see in a previous video, you saw that the Subaru Wilderness badge is embossed into the headrest. Very cool touch that Subaru has added in there so you know exactly what you're driving. Coming back up here to the front, this gigantic infotainment screen. Same thing that you're going to see in the Touring Edition. That Big difference that you're going to see though is that it has the driver assistance where it actually recognizes who is driving the vehicle. So you can set up different profiles. Say you got one, two, three different drivers. The second you sit down in the car, it's going to recognize and say, hello, Chad, you know, welcome to that. So you do have those differences there. So now we're inside of the Touring Outback and you're going to immediately see that it's overall a little bit brighter in here. The Wilderness is a bit more of a darker blackout package with uh, surrounds that are going to be a little bit more of a matte kind of theme. Obviously much darker. It is lighter in here. You do have the Napa leather that's in here that's standard with the Touring. Um, and you do see a lot of other little chrome and silver bits that are going to be around. And of course the headliner and A pillars, B pillars, all more of a white color uh, for the interior here. So another big difference that you're going to see between the two is you do get the upgraded Harman Kardon sound system in here. On the Wilderness, you do not have the option to actually upgrade that interestingly enough. Additionally, you do have more piano black that's going to be through here on the doors as well as this little pocket area on the passenger side. And of course, like I mentioned before, you do have the same infotainment screen, but here is the driver recognition. It's like a little like sensor that will read your face essentially. Um, but another thing when you're looking through here 
on Subarus, some come with a heated steering wheel. Now, there's a little toggle right here where your right finger can touch it and you can just turn it on. Interestingly enough, not even an option for the Wilderness uh, edition of the Outback, which we think is very interesting choice by Subaru. There will be more content talking about that in the future, but overall, it's more of a plush feel here in this interior here. Um, and when you do get in both of them, you know immediately that you're in an Outback, but it's a very different experience between the two. So I know we already talked about horsepower figures and which engine is in what, but actually talking about this engine particularly, we'll make our way over to the wilderness. Easy serviceability, it is very familiar Subaru style. Everything that's got a yellow appointment on it is where you can fill, service, do your oil changes, coolant, whatnot, and of course a top mounted uh, engine oil filter, super easy to get to. Big thing to know about the two that you have here, this is the standard engine, the 2.5 liter boxer, but you can get an XT version which has this same exact engine in it. This engine over here is standard and it is the only option for the wilderness. So coming over here, as you can see, still the same deal, easy serviceability. Only big difference is obviously the big intercooler on top because you have a turbo and an oil cooler right here that the engine oil filter sits on top of. So overall, very, very easy, very, very normal Subaru serviceability, and of course, a very similar boxer experience. So we're gonna wrap up talking about pricing between the two. This one's stickered at 39,000. This starts at 39,000. So kind of, it comes down to what you want out of your Outback. They're gonna get your kids to soccer practice. You're gonna be able to go to the store and pick up everything that you need. And even the owner of this stuck a water heater in the back of it. So you do have different options for things that you can do with your Subaru Outback. But these packages are each geared towards very, very different buyers. Now, there are a few additions that were on this. Rear automatic braking, which is a software feature that's enabled, of course. You've got your sunroof on top, which is an addition. Um, and then, few other little accessories that you can throw in there of course but that's not standard at all this one fully loaded comes with everything touring is the very top now of course you do have the option to add the turbo motor but otherwise it's a fully loaded Subaru Outback so which one would you go for we want to know in the comments below obviously what you are looking for and obviously you can look for the base model as well so thank you all so much for watching have a fantastic week and we'll catch you next time